We're here at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London to catch up with Nicholas Coleridge. As the former managing director of Condé Nast Britain and president of Condé Nast International, he has for 26 years overseen the world's most popular glossy magazines, including Vogue, GQ, Tatler and Love. A lover of museums, he is now chairman of the V&A, where we met him to ask some pressing questions. Where can one find the best cocktail in London and who is the best person to drink it with? Well, I would be choosing to drink a Bloody Mary because I pretty much live on them, really. And I would probably have it made in a club that I belong to called George Club that's in Mount Street in Mayfair. And who would I want to drink it with? Well, the person I really want to drink it with is now dead, being David Bowie, um, because who remains my number one hero from many years ago. So that would be my dream. And what are your thoughts on journalists drinking on the job, having a swift one at lunchtime? Well, when I first came into journalism and I worked in Fleet Street, uh, people drunk immensely heavily at lunchtime. It's almost impossible to believe. I try to explain it sometimes to my kids, actually, and they can't quite believe that anyone would have drunk, for example, four pints of beer or six um, dirty martinis at lunchtime in the middle of the day. People used to take most of the afternoon off and then would return to the office at about 6 p.m. and go into furious revving over action as the deadline loomed. And, and But this is completely gone. Everybody now works in almost dry offices. I don't. I like to have drinks in the office, but not before about 6.30. And of course, you are managing director of Condé Nast. Do you have a favourite ever Condé Nast front cover? Favourite front cover? I'm going to choose a British Vogue cover from about 15 years ago that had Elton John playing the piano and Elizabeth Hurley sitting on the piano with her skirt rising high. And it, it was a Christmas issue. Alexandra Shulman was the editor. And it had a fantastic bling about it before bling was as commonplace as it now is. Um, and I believe you are related to the rather famous poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Is there any of the Samuel T. Coleridge in you? Well, I don't smoke opium, which was his main thing, um, but I am very keen on walking. He used to walk, well, actually, probably everyone used to walk in those days, but he used to walk between 16 and 20 miles every day. I, of course, don't do that, but I'm very keen on walking and, uh, and do walk quite long distances, especially in Worcestershire, where we have a house. Well, Nicholas Coleridge, thank you very much for speaking to us.